Welcome back to First Shift. I'm Laura Harris, filling in for Kristen Strachalitis. Today we have the latest headlines from our reporters to you. Tesla says a California agency behind race bias lawsuit is wrong. The electric car maker says the agency that sued the company, charging race discrimination, rushed to file lawsuits against businesses without conducting proper investigations, and that the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing has adopted what Tesla calls underground regulations. Tesla says the regulations disregard requirements it must meet before suing employers. The DFEH says that Tesla's flagship plant in Fremont, California, was racially segregated where black workers were harassed and discriminated against. This comes in terms of job assignments, discipline and pay, but Tesla denies any wrongdoing. Porsche is partnering with an LA startup to seed six mobility companies by 2025. The goal is to develop next generation technologies and business models. The partnership with UP.Labs will focus on key areas for Porsche. This includes digital retail, predictive maintenance, and supply chain transparency. As part of this deal, Porsche will take a minority stake in the startups, with the option to acquire them after three years. Chinese automakers, along with the Chinese government, are dangling deals to boost slow sales. The companies will cover or subsidize the purchase tax on vehicles, provide preferential financing rates, extend loan repayment dates, and offer to pay insurance costs. Passenger vehicle sales in China dropped 36 percent in April, the biggest drop in two years because of COVID lockdowns. Not a single new car was sold in Shanghai. The government is helping by having the purchase tax on low emission passenger vehicles meeting certain requirements, they must have fewer than nine seats, with no more than nine seats purchased between June to December and cost $45,000 or less. After cooling a bit in the first half of the year, wholesale used vehicle prices grew in May, but not nearly at the pace of the record monthly increases seen in 2021. The prices rose 0.07% from April to May. That statistic came from Cox Automotive's Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index. This tracks vehicles sold at Mannheim's U.S. auctions. As far as sales, the pace remained stable. It fell 1% from April. Year after year, used retail sales were down 7%. Five automakers are coming to the defense of California's stance on emissions. Ford, BMW, Honda, Volkswagen, and Volvo filed a motion to intervene in a federal lawsuit. The lawsuit challenged the state's vehicle emissions authorities. It all stems from the EPA relaxing federal greenhouse gas emissions two years ago at that time. California chose to abide by greenhouse gas emissions standards. These were stricter than EPA's then relaxed standard. The five automakers agreed to follow California's decision. The motion that the automakers filed this week defends the EPA's reinstatement of a waiver that restored the state's authority to limit vehicle greenhouse gas emissions. It comes after a group of 17 Republican attorneys general last month sued the EPA over its decision to reissue the waiver. The waiver allows California to set its own auto tailpipe rules and zero emission vehicle mandates. Both are more stringent than federal standards. In March, the EPA reinstated the waiver and withdrew its portion of the interpretation of the Clean Air Act that would prohibit other states from adopting California's more stringent vehicle greenhouse gas emission standards. The action was driven by President Biden's executive order in January 2021. That directed the U.S. Department of Transportation and the EPA to reconsider a 2019 Trump administration decision to revoke California's authority. If you want to read more on any of these articles, check out our reporter stories on autonews.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Laura Harris filling in on First Shift. Have a great day.